the uh, head coach of the Fighting Blue Hens, who went to the national championship game last year against Eastern Washington down in Texas. And uh, coach, good to see you. As Michael, always. great to see you. How you been? Awesome. What's awesome. going on this summer? You get a chance to relax or what? Uh, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. But uh, anxious to get the season rolling. You know, it's that time of year, and I think I have a good football team coming back, so we're excited. Well, first off, uh, congratulations. Your anniversary today. Anniversary today. Birthday yesterday. Oh so my God. Okay. Media day. So keep it all together. So <laughs> that's great. That's great. Well, I get a chance to kind of chill. I guess a little bit before everything really kicks into high gear. Three days at Rehoboth before we start everything up uh, Monday. The staff is in Good. full time and the kids come back the 8th. Awesome. Well, uh, it was an incredible year last year. We know that. Um, I don't know if and when there was a time where maybe you kind of started to move on from it. I know it was tough. 20-19 uh, to 19 loss. Well, after being it was up. tough when? because everyone reminds you. You know, you yeah. get a combination of, oh my God, you were robbed to yeah. how'd you guys blow a 19 point lead? Right. So, I mean, <laughs> depends what you walk into. You have to relive it on a daily basis. But, uh, you know, I mean, it was a great year. Um, I, there's a great legacy that senior class left. You know, those kids prepared at an amazing rate. I thought we did such a great job preparing for the championship game. And one of the neat things I saw it carry over into the spring. I thought we had a good spring as we've ever had uh, since I've been at Delaware. Mm -hmm. And I thought we, uh, from all indications, have had a great summer. So for us to play as long as we did, lose as many great players as we lost, and to feel really good about moving forward, it tells you that uh, those seniors left a nice legacy and this new leadership group has taken over. Uh, yeah, they did. 12 and three, tied for first in the CAA, CAA co-champs, and then uh, into the national championship game. Now, I mean, you guys were there in 2007, uh, last year, 2010. So, I mean, you make a run. You, you, when you get in the tournament, when you get in the playoffs, you always seem to make something happen. You said, though, at the end of last year, the goal this year, maybe right off the bat, wasn't to get back to Frisco. Uh, why would you say that? Normally, well, you're all about trying to get to the highest well, Absolutely. I, I think we had to kind of just separate ourselves a little bit from that. I think we had to just worry about you know going out and spring ball and just working hard every single day. It was a very physical spring. We were smart. We took the, the guys, the veteran guys who played a lot of football, and really backed them off in the spring. But the other guys, it was a really physical spring. Mm -hmm. You don't want them thinking about anything about just, let's get better today. Because again, if you're not worried about getting better today and you're worried about trying to play for a national championship, you don't get better that day. So I think we just got broke it down to, hey guys, let's just worry about getting better today. And, and if we keep on getting better, we'll see what happens. But we all know, you come to Delaware, you, you, you come to play for national championships. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're all about. And, and, and we're not afraid to say, you know, we want to be the best team in the country. But uh, at the same time, when you're in spring ball, when you're in training camp, you need to worry about just getting better every day. A uh, quick look on both sides of the ball. Obviously, Pat Devlin's gone, a quarterback. Uh, tell us where, where his status is. I know he's uh, in Miami. Pat, now, Pat right? signed with Miami. You know, yeah. I was with Pat a week before the uh, before the uh, the free agent signings, and I thought I was going to go to Indianapolis. He worked my youth football camp for You're me. Saying that, yeah. uh, and then uh, I had heard he was going to Miami. Then I heard he was going to Arizona. Wow. Then I heard he's back with Miami. So I think he's with Miami, okay, good. but uh, we're excited for him. I think what happens is when you had as much time between the draft and now signings, guys had a chance to really investigate every roster mm -hmm. and say, what is truly the best spot for me to go? And I think he did a lot of due diligence, and I think he felt Miami was a great you know, scenario for him to go have a, a nice career. Uh, Anthony Bratton signed with uh, the Green Bay Packers. Anthony Walter signed with Chicago Bears. Talked to both of them yesterday. Josh cool. Baker signed with the New York Jets. I think both, all four of those guys have a great chance to make the football team. You got Andrew Pierce coming back, a running back, your star. He's only a sophomore. I mean, that was kind of an unknown last year at the running back position. He quickly uh, changed that, so you were okay there. And Trevor Sasek, uh, for the first time, a guy that you just kind of brought up through yeah. the system, a quarterback, the front runner right now for your starting QB well, job? you know, what happened was um, we really felt going into spring Trevor was going to be the, 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 uh, the, the front runner. Mm -hmm. But then Trevor missed seven practices due to mono. Tim Donnelly comes in as a great spring, goes 10 for 10 to start off the spring game for us. And uh, we decide, you know what, let's have an open competition going into, uh, into training camp. Okay. The great thing with us right now, best offensive line we've had coming back, three or four really good tailbacks, best, best blocking tight end in the league, some good wide receivers. I think we can take a lot of pressure off the quarterback. So whoever that quarterback's gonna be, I think the philosophy is going to be let's run the ball at him, let's let the quarterback just manage the game and not have to worry the game, okay. win the game. The last thing, what do you do about defense? You lose the entire yeah. secondary. We were excited about our front. I mean, we think this might be the best front seven we've had. Um, Paul Wuerl is going to move to the middle. Uh, I think we have five defensive tackles that all could be all conference quality players. Um, the question is the secondary. Okay. You know, you lose four guys who were all conference players, two signed NFL contracts, the, other, the third is a captain. So we need to, to make sure that we play really well up front, take some pressure off that back end and, and have that 
I think young and talented defensive secondary develop into you know to, to what they need to be. But uh, it's going to start up front with us uh, stopping the run. All right, Coach. Uh, great seeing you. We'll see you back in Newark. Have a great weekend, and uh, good luck in 2011. All right, Michael, thank you. Thanks, man. I right. appreciate it. Head coach Casey Keeler of the Fighting Blue Hens going to try to uh, get back to that title game uh, this year in 2011. We'll see what happens.